Welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and today we're visiting with Dr. Jonathan Larson. He's with the University of Kentucky Extension Entomologist there. Well, I'm glad you're here today because we can hear them. We've seen them. The cicadas are there. We've talked about them. But what about the cicada killer? The cicada killer wasp is a really big and impressive insect that lives in the state, probably the largest wasp that we have here in Kentucky. And yeah, every time there's a periodical cicada emergence, there is some concern that pops up that suddenly we're going to see these wasps all over the place taking down these black and red and orange cicadas. And the truth is, is that they're disconnected via the calendar. The, the seasonality of the cicada killer just doesn't line up with the periodical cicadas for them to be able to take real advantage of that. They are much more heavily focused on those annual cicadas, those summer species that we hear every year singing during the dog days of summer. So we're not going to see more of them, but they are a really cool insect, uh, something uh, that intrigues a lot of people, I think, here in Kentucky. Yeah, and like when we had some concern or some news reports, not in this state, but about the murder hornet, a lot of people, when they saw the cicada killer, they thought that that was a murder hornet. And so it is impressive in size, but tell me about the features of the cicada killer. So they're long, they're about two, two and a half inches long in most cases. The females are bigger than the males. They have a smaller head compared to a true hornet, uh, like the, the murder hornet or the, the European hornet that lives in the state because they're not as, as predatory as adults. So they have much reduced jaw, much more reduced jaws. Their eyes are pretty big for their head, uh, but they have kind of a, a kind of a peanut head, really kind of a, a tiny head compared to the rest of their body. Uh, they're tank-like, they're very impressive, like muscly looking wasps because the female, she in flight will tackle a cicada in air and sort of take it to the ground and sting it and inject it with a paralytic venom. And then she kind of drags the cicada back <laughs> To her hole. She's dug a tunnel into the ground, uh, kind of in loose soil, that then she's going to provision cells inside of the tunnel with cicadas. If she's laying an egg that will turn into a female wasp, she will put two or three cicadas in there. If it's a male egg, it's only going to get one cicada. The male cicada killer, he hangs out in the area where the, the nest is, the tunnel is. He doesn't have a stinger at all, but he's kind of aggressive about everything. They like to fly up at people's face level, kind of eye level, and they'll be like, what's up? What's up? You want some? <laughs> and they're trying to figure out if you're a threat. They can't do anything to you. They're just trying to, like, bully you away using the, the coloration that they have, which is kind of a mixture of black and orange with uh, yellow stripes on the rear end. It's, it's a, a thing that's common with a lot of wasps. They'll use soil as an area to put a nest into. It's interesting that they're using cicadas to go down into the soil and then provision their nest with. Other insects would use other quarry, easier to catch quarry, I think, or they'd be using pollen and nectar and stuff like that to try and provision cells down there. I think the more interesting thing is that they're so solitary that the female is not very defensive. If you come up to that nest area, she doesn't protect it the way, say, a yellow jacket or a bumblebee might in a similar situation. You can be stung by a cicada killer. I won't say that it's impossible. I will say that it's impossible in almost any normal interaction with them. We have had people that have reported stepping on one. It was on the ground and they were barefoot. From what I understand, it doesn't score very high on the, the Schmitz Pain Index, which is the official ranking system for insect bites and stings. Uh, it's not at the top or anything like that. So it is possible, but it's it's very abnormal behavior. It would take extraordinary circumstances to get them to do this. They are lining up when the annual cicadas come out. That's when they start to emerge from these nests that are in the soil. They've overwintered and pupated and then come out as adults. Uh, the males will fly around in a given area waiting for females to emerge. The females will then dig their new tunnel in an area. There may be lots of females doing this in an area, but they're not cooperating together. Uh, they're just sort of taking advantage of the same nice soil so that they can do this. There, that does lead to kind of ways that we can discourage this. If you can put wood chips down on an area or pebble mulch that tends to deter them. The other thing, if you don't want to alter your landscape, is sometimes it's enough if you see them digging in and around an area. If you just aim a sprinkler there for a couple of days and turn the water on every so often, it'll get soggy and hard to dig through. We do have a fact sheet on this. Uh, it's on our extension entomology webpage, Insect and Pest Info. If you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office and we'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.